How's it going everyone? Andrew Pace here with a brand new series that I have been wanting to start for over a month now, maybe? I don't know, maybe, no, maybe? Yeah, over a month now. Um, this is College Hoops 2K8, the last College Hoops game that uh, the uh, creators at 2K have made. I just had to pick this up. I've been getting into all those college games with uh, NCAA football revamped. There's also a version uh, called March Madness Legacy for NCAA Basketball 18. But my favorite college sports game was College Hoops 2K8. I always itch for this game whenever March Madness rolls around every year. And so I wanted to bring this back and I wanted to start a new YouTube series for you guys. And I didn't want to make it just like a generic legacy mode, which is what they call their like dynasty career kind of thing where you, you become the coach and you try to make your legacy by working your way up the college ranks. I didn't want to make just a generic coach like with my name on it. I want to do like a little bit of a storyline. So this legacy is going to be the legacy of coach Tim Duncan. Now, you know Tim Duncan as the surefire Hall of Famer from the San Antonio Spurs. But and uh, he was most recently an assistant for the San Antonio Spurs, uh, assistant coach. And for this series, I am living out his coaching legacy as a head coach in college basketball. And we are starting at the University of Texas at San Antonio. No better storybook place to start than the University of Texas at San Antonio. And this is not going to be an easy challenge. The University of Texas San Antonio, as you see right here, is a 74 overall. Not a very good school. It's not one of the schools I can select when you can do your uh, the, the new legacy challenge that this mode has where you have to start with a school that's under a 70 overall. But it's not much higher than that. We are in a small conference, the, the Southland Conference. Uh, like I said, we're only a 74 overall. So we're not that much better than the lowest level schools that you can do when you're starting a legacy. And also I started Duncan's attributes at the same level as if I was starting a career legacy as opposed to the open legacy. Um, so we're starting with the Texas San Antonio Roadrunners and we're going to see where Tim Duncan can take his career. Um, ignore, ignore the career record that's uh, under his name here. Uh, it took over the current coach of Texas at San Antonio. Um, so just, just ignore his career record. We're starting 0-0. Oh, We're starting 0-0. Oh, We're going to work our way up from there. A uh, couple of things to note about this. This actually has the real-life current rosters from the 2021-22 college uh, basketball season. As you can see on here, the star player for uh, University of Texas San Antonio is Jordan Ivy Curry, and you can look him up. He is the a real player for the current UTSA team right now. And um, shout out to so the makers of this roster are Travel Tall and Adam7610. Thank you guys so much for all the work you put into these rosters and making them accurate as possible for all of the college teams across the entire NCAA landscape. You guys can pick this up for yourself. I'll leave a link uh, in the description. Uh, to their rosters if you want to pick it up for yourself. It's pretty, they also include instructions on how to get it into your PlayStation 3 file. It is a PlayStation 3 only roster, unfortunately. So unfortunately, those of you on Xbox will not be able to get these rosters. I was very fortunate that I'm on PlayStation 3 and I was able to get these rosters loaded up. Not only that, but Travel Tall, yeah, Travel Tall also has in the, in the College 2K Hoops fan base Discord, which I will also link in the description below, has also uploaded in the discord 40 different offensive playbooks to fit the style or the makeup of whatever team uh, you're going to be using and even the team you're going to be playing up against to make it more realistic for the computer to focus on their star players to give them the ball more for their scoring opportunities as opposed to just the generic playbooks that might not get their best players the ball and so I'm using those playbooks as well. Also his slider set that he recommends, I'm going to be using as well. So big shout out to Travel Tall. And oh, he's known as Kramer242 in the Discord. I, again, I will link the Discord and the, uh, the Operation Sports forum where he posted the rosters. Please go check all that stuff out. They did fantastic work and I wanna make sure I give credit where credit is due. I did not do anything other than find what they have done and upload it into this myself. But basically we're taking over UTSA with Tim Duncan as the head coach as the roster stands today. 
and I'm looking forward to doing this. We're not going to stay at Texas San Antonio at the same time. We're going to go through a full coaching career and see if we can get him up to those Power 5 conferences and winning some national championship with some top caliber teams. But for now, we got to start at the bottom. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the roster of the current Texas at San Antonio basketball team. All right, so our starting lineup is at point guard, junior Eric Zumbo. I, I guess I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. At shooting guard, our star sophomore, Jordan Ivy Curry. He is our best player and will be running a lot of the offense through him. At small forward, we've got six foot six senior Eric Parrish. At power forward, we've got six foot eight junior Alu Alu. That's an awesome name, by the way. At center, we've got six foot eleven junior Jacob Germany, and then our six man off the bench shooting guard Darius McNeil, Cedric Alley Jr. at small forward, Adrian Rodriguez at power forward, a Xavier Johnson, a freshman point guard, six foot five freshman point guard, Jiu Jiang, six foot five junior shooting guard, Lachlan Boffinger, sophomore small forward. Phoenix Ford, a senior power forward, and then I am redshirting this freshman, Josh Farmer, six foot nine power forward. So that is the lineup. We're going to be focusing. It, we're going to be running a nine-man rotation. Let's actually look at the rotation. We're running a nine-man rotation, focused primarily on our top six guys who are our best overall players. Um, with also rotating in Ali Jr., Rodriguez, and Johnson for backup support. Uh, Deang, Bowfinger, and Ford will only get action if there are injuries. And like I mentioned, Farmer is a red shirt, so he will not get any playing time this season. Um, but I like this team. It has a couple of seniors, but it also, like, like I said, their star, Ivy Curry, is a sophomore, so he's going to be here for a couple more seasons so we can build around him as a star. Now, we've also got McNeil, who's a good shooting guard. We might could slide him over to point guard. Uh, he doesn't have the best passing, so maybe not point guard for him. Um... But he's a senior, so he'll be leaving after this year anyway. So we're focusing on Ivy Curry. Zumbo's a junior. Paris is a senior. And the other, the, our big men are juniors. So the, from the starting lineup, we're only going to lose Paris, which is why you'll see in our recruiting class, we have a, a very heavy small forward uh, focus on right now. I have simulated the first couple weeks of the season because we didn't play any games and I wanted to set up my recruiting. So you guys didn't have to watch me do that. Um, but let's go look at how we're doing in recruiting. All right, so in recruiting, uh, since we're a small school, we are not going to be pulling in the uh, top of the line classes here. We've got five scholarships to work with. I've already offered all five. I'm pretty sure not all five are going to be signing with us, but I wanted to get them offered just to give that extra boost to potentially getting them. Uh, our top target is uh, center Benny Bowens. Uh, I don't think we're going to get him, though, as you can see right here. We're third on his list, and the University of Texas at Arlington has uh, almost locked him up, so we're probably not going to get him. Um, but it would be great if we could get the local product, Ilian Starkey, uh, 5'10 point guard, who's got some pretty good attributes for uh, a point guard. He's actually 156 in the nation as a three-star. So if we could grab this guy, would be fantastic and would love to use him as a, a backup point guard at, to start he's got a minus shot a minus defense and um just just kind of small because he's 5 10 162 uh the other three star that we're going after is small forward kinley morton um might not be able to get him uh uapb is in the lead on that one but we're we're doing our best there and then we've got two stars we've got dj cease we're probably not going to get Walt Moreno. We're battling with uh, GC. I don't know what GC stands for. Uh, maybe Grand Canyon because he's from Arizona. It's probably Grand Canyon. Uh, Stefan Kemp. We are the only school that is interested in him, so we're probably going to get him. Reggie Chalmers. We're facing off against Grambling for that. Grambling's probably going to pick that guy up. Uh, Javon Capel. Uh, we are first in him, but it's a close race, and we're the but we're the only one that's offered a scholarship so far. Um, but he is uh, from Fort Worth, Texas. Tariq Coley, my, like, like, as I said, there's a lot of small forwards here. Tariq Coley, we haven't offered him one, but he's up there. Verdan James, a three, a three school race. Not going to get Dante McGowan. He's pretty much, actually, you know what? I'm going to take McGowan off the list already. We ain't going to get him. Uh, then we've got Tony Gamble. Uh, we're in a close race there, but we haven't offered him anything yet. He's from Tech, He's from San Antonio as well. 
But if we can get the three star point guard, and it might be kind of redundant to go after Gamble, but we'll see what happens. Jeremy Clifford, we are the only team going after him right now. We might be signing him. Jarrett Lovelace, we're third on that list. Vitus Page, close race. And that's it for our recruiting. So we've got five scholarships to work with. If we don't sign five people, I'm okay with that. But if we can at least get one of these three stars, I'll be happy. Hopefully two. If we can if we can somehow pull off the small forward or the center, I doubt we can. But I'm going to do the best I can. Um, so that's what we're working with with recruiting. Um, and why don't we get into potential first game? All right, so like I said, um, this these rosters are accurate as of the 2021-22 college season. We're technically playing with the conference alignments from all the way back in 2008, so the, the conference alignments won't be the same as they are now, unfortunately. Something you have to work with when you're working with a, a game that's, what is it now, 10, 14, almost 15 years old at this point. I I, I the problem with the conference realignment in this game is that you have to keep the same number of teams in every conference and it just gets annoying um, to try to, to keep that. You have to like swap teams instead of adding and removing teams. So unfortunately, I can't get the conferences the way they are set up now. So I'm just going to run the rosters that they have now with the conferences like they were back in 2008. And so we're, we're just going to go with that. But the first game of the season is that the preseason number 13 team in the nation texas and this is going to be a big first test for mr tim duncan as the coach of the uh, texas san antonio roadrunners so it's going to be hard and we're at texas by the way too so this is not going to be an easy game but let's jump in to the first game of the season Hey guys, just a quick note for me before we get into the game. As I was editing this video, I realized that the sound level of the game and me commentating into my mic were not balanced very well. You could probably overhear the game over the top of me talking, and I do apologize about that. It's hard for me to tell what the balance of the volumes level are when I'm recording. Uh, this will be fixed for future episodes. I do apologize for that. Just wanted to let you know that ahead of time before going into the game, before you start getting annoyed. I just wanted to come up front and say sorry for the differing audio levels this will be fixed moving forward but enjoy the first game of the tim duncan legacy against number 13 texas it's time for college hoops. and we've got some on 2K nostalgia sports. texas san antonio roadrunners it's like the face off against warm -up line texas and, uh, longhorns music playing for welcome Texas. everyone we're here at the frank Irwin center i'm Vern lundquist with my partnership with the basketball now the downside really to having the, the accurate rosters is that both of to lead their teams to a win like we'll my see star guy ivy um obviously he's not one of the three reported names because he's got one of those hyphenated names Ivy Curry, so they're not going to recognize his name. So that's going to be a little annoying. Say number 21, and somehow I'll get over because I got the back end posters. And away we go. Number 24. No good from 10 feet. The fade away from and it's still knotted up zero. Well, that's not Jaylen how you want to start a game. They, the opening field goal. The fastball, right? they take a two to the challenge on that shot. Good job closing on the shooter. That last 13 footer was missed by Allen. Now let's check in with the third member the of our team, Curry. Tracy Wilson. Tracy? Just before the game, I talked with Coach Beard. Number two catches it down low. Uh, well, good way to work it down low. Get a foul and see if we can knock down our first points of the game. Two and a half minutes into it. And he makes the first There's one. He got one. Gets the second to fall is to the wing. Number two has it right side. Number 21 Can't misses the tying it. basket. They're still down five. Stolen by, by number 10. Wonderful Best job of playing the basketball that time. Good on number all two. Right. All of our points have come off of free number throws. five. Inbounds the ball. Under 11 minutes left. To dishes left wing. Alley. Move and it's canned with by the zero. layup. Our they first it bucket, to one. not from the free throw line. Pump fake and drive and lays it in with the finger roll. Three. 
Shoots it. Hits Ooh. the jumper. Just hit it right in my face. And they now go up by three. Number two. It's deflected, but it's tracked down by number one. Zumbo. Number ten. With That's plenty of space. That was a weird sequence, Connects. but he got it to work. But they're still behind by one. It's line up out there. Off the inbound pass. Corralled by Parrish. But they're still out in front by one. Number two. Let's go. Down. Slams it home. A lose. With a with sweet the lead pass. On the breakaway. They're up you take the lead. nine to eight. Down the first one. Both teams are making a few lineup right. changes. This is one thing that's been annoying me about this game because I played a, a, a little bit before recording the series. They don't seem to listen to the rotations that I set. He gets the ball. The guy Number 21 is needed out on the floor. I didn't get much of a rest. set to zero minutes and they just Number put five him into the game. inbounds the ball. Ford, Under seven crazy. minutes left yeah, in the half. Ford. I don't have him in my rotation and they brought him into the game. So like, what's the point of setting Number the five has it. Number 21. Let's go. I have Curry for three. Got it. And we now He's take a two-point two lead. From three-point range. Knocked loose. And it's gathered up by number oh, 43. Oh, no, they're on the breakaway. I like how he gets himself uh, into defensive position. At the right place, at the right time. Yeah. Number 21. From 20 oh, feet out. To number five. Oh, yanks no. it down. He fought for that rebound. That's Play some again. toughness for you. Nice move in the paint. Put that thing away. Leads him in. His first shot of the game. And one. Got Let's go. McNeil with the and one. Three. Let's go. He's either got to foul hard or don't foul at all. You can't just give up easy three-point plays. He can't and come he can't away with the three-point play. And then gets the reach in. Number of one. Course. His whistle for reaching in. <laughs> and that's foul line. Last attempt off the mark by Jones. There we go. Zero. Alley on the through. Play. It's now all knotted up. Slams it down. It is a tie ball game. Neither team is shooting well Cutting at it. all. Inbounds the ball. Clark it is only 22 to 22 with a minute left in the first half. Zero. Dishes to the wing. Some ball. Alou with, with the rebound. And him. put back in. Alou with the strength. He fought through the foul. No Alou problem. with the strong. Give him the three point chance. Work on the glass. Gets the put back and the foul. Can't convert the three-point play. His Jones, free throw. way up court. Set the running down the clock for over. Number the last 30 shot. to end the crowd. Drains the three. Gets it to four. They lead five Three seconds. Pushes it up to a loo. Puts Let's it up. It go. Gets the foul. The way up, and he'll get two shots. Can't sink the first. Both teams are making a few. Going to come away empty from the line. We'll head into the break. And the that's score. gonna be halftime the 25 to 24. 25 to 24. That is a low score. Give us your opinion game. on the first half, Bill. Boy, these Neither teams team are is even at 30%. Either side is giving an inch on the defensive end. A lot of free throws, a lot of rebounds, not many turnovers, but the shooting is atrocious for both teams. Let's see who we have as our player of the half, Bill. No Jones, surprise, Allen is the player of the half. He's finding ways to score every trip down the floor, and he's carrying his team. He's been a force on the offensive end, and is putting on a show for everyone here. A phenomenal performance. All right, so the first half is over and Tim Duncan's coaching debut at the University of Texas San Antonio. Tracy Wilson has some extra info for us. During halftime, I talked with the Roadrunners coach. He told me his team is down, but he's Both going to push the issue even more Let's in the second half to can make can a comeback. He continued by saying comfort zone. By mixing things up, he hopes to shake up. And we give Jones conference. a wide open look. Back to you. That's nice work, hard. Tracy. Call exactly where you are when you hear that sound. These fans are wild. Let's hurry. Harris is it up. Oh, Harris gets the board in the layup. The steal by Texas. The finisher. Fasten your seatbelt. Here's the And there's the driver of the game as we give up the turnover to the point guard. Right there, partner. No, the point guard finishes it, but oh my goodness. 
Down low. Couldn't end the drop. It's the, off by number 24. Layups, There's nothing please. he can do but shake his head on that one. What happens and when you start on. with a team like this? A low ranked team can't hit layups now. Lead pass inside. The last layup was dropped in by Mitchell. He did for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Oh, this I just couldn't be any dunked on. Just listen to the people in this building. Ooh, so man, that was a dunk and a half over two people and a foul. Oh, that hurt. Was it Disu? Oh, my goodness. Foul shot is good for a feet corner. Number 21, release it. Got three with the up fake. Whoa, shot off the middle shot. They've got to find a way to stop this onset. Well, the best defense can be a good offense, and they don't have to the hurt this guy. Has it on the low block. Off target. Hit by Rodriguez. Paul passes it up court. He attacks. He gets the second to fall as well. Hooks free. And it's scooped up by Allen. Beautiful work to fight through that I was just foul being and get the there. for the three opportunity. Let's play that's the Rose inbounding the ball, and they got the steal, the foul, and one. Good for the three-point play. Oh, big. Number 10. Dumps it Please to the middle. The layup. Thank a quick you. shot was hit by Rodriguez. Rodriguez. In for two. And they're now down this by 17. Zumbo. Right wing. Pass. Low block. Return to sender. Oh, what a shot. He looked like a volleyball player spiking that thing. He needs to make sure he gets a piece of the and ball, too. Way, He's going to foul him that late on an attempt. Needed out this of the floor. This is embarrassing. We are five and a half minutes into the second half, and I have scored a grand total Knocks of Knocks down the first one. Points, and I'm already in the penalty on fouls. There's he the gets them both. Fouls. We'll try to put a stop to this run. Oh, my god. Anticipates gosh. the pass. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around that then pass. <laughs> Such a thief burn. Number one. On the money. Finally. He's two for three. three for the game. McNeil. Tyson inbounds the ball. Someone hit a shot. Is having real turnover problems. Tracy, do you Dunk. have something for us on that? The Roadrunners coach is not sugar. To the paint. Stolen away. Things just get so cramped up inside, Vern, that making those little <laughs> dump off passes can be really difficult. Number one. Rises and dishes. Number nice 24. Play by hits it McNeil from the low block. To feed Germany He's got three. With the jump it's like pass. a library here, Vern. We need some. Passes to the free throw line. Ooh, look at Rodriguez with the sweet move and layup. Tyson hey inbounds the ball. The ball. Takes it up. Laid in with the D right in his face. Sweet finish for 24. Has it out left. They're bringing the double team. Hoping to end his cold streak. Finally. The shot was knocked down by number 10. He. With the shot. Perish. Gets good position and. And one. Perish. A superior back. effort to fight through the foul and put it down. Strong. Bounces it to the elbow. Number 10. Gets it. Left wing. There we go. This story coming at a different shots, point of the game. It's way too little too late to change the outcome, Bill. Vern, there wasn't any catcher between the shot clock and the game clock. Missed shot in the paint by Parrish. It's one on one. Number four. Takes it up. Banks it off the glass and in. Great job to hang on to the lead. All right, Doing well. The start to Tim Duncan's coaching career is not a very, uh, it's not a shiny moment at all. It's not free. As San Antonio gets hurt. Boy, in the second it's half. In. Nice little fadeaway there. Number four, inbounds the but and that's Texas the absolutely dominates the second Texas half. With, I think they scored 59 points in the second half alone. And now it's alone. time to show you our Player which would have the won game. the game if they could have not played the first half. Jones is the player of the game. 19.60% shooting, seven free throws. Added in five rebounds as well. 
And now we let's lose go to Greg Gilmore back in the studio. Let's take a look at the game changing Pontiac performance. Pontiac game changing performance. Presented by Hi, Greg Gumbel. Welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're going to bring you our Pontiac game changing performance. There is nothing more exciting in basketball than a slam dunk that rocks the house. The Texas Longhorns slam the door on their opponents with big time dunks like the one you're seeing here. This is a dunk his teammates will be buzzing about for a while. Look at the fury with yeah. which he throws it through the hoop. <laughs> Thank That's you, Greg. Kind of this is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Rafferty. Right, let's take a look at the team We hope you here. enjoyed this presentation of College Hoop. All right, so we need to work on our shooting as well as our turnovers. We turned the ball over 10 times. Um, and our free throw shooting was atrocious. It's only 68% from the line. 13 of 19 overall. But we just did not shoot well. We shot definitely shot better in the second half. Um, but 36% overall. Texas just dominated the second half. They ended the first half at 29% shooting just like us. But they ended the game at 49% shooting. They just completely destroyed us in the second half. Just in every facet of the game. Especially fast break points. Where's the fast break points? They had 26 fast break points. We had none. Um, they just... I mean, honestly, what's to be expected? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a small conference school taking on the number 13 team in the nation. Uh, so, really wasn't expecting anything different. Let's look at individual player performance. Zumble, 3 of 12. Our star, Ivy Curry, only hit one shot all game. One of seven. Paris led the team with nine points. We didn't even have a single player in double digits. Alou... McNeil and Rod Rodriguez and Alley were the only ones with shooting percentages at 50 or above 50%. Should have tried to get McNeil more involved. He had seven points off the bench. Rodriguez had six points off the bench. But it was just a poor performance overall by the... And I, I still don't know why Ford got in the game. Which... I set the rotation so that it only brings in McNeil, Alley, and Rodriguez. I didn't even want Johnson in the game, I don't think. I, no, I said I have it in a nine. Johnson should be in the game. But Ford should not have played at all. So, I don't know. I don't know what the point of the rotations is if they're going to play them anyway. Um, but anyway, that is going to end the first episode of... The legacy of head coach Tim Duncan. And it starts, unfortunately, with a loss to the, at the hands of number 13, Texas. Uh, next episode, we will go through... We'll, we'll try to go through multiple games an episode. It was just this one was the opening episode where I was introducing the team and recruiting and all that. So this went a little bit longer. So the next, next time out, we're going to take on at least Navy and UMKC. Maybe SMU, depending on how long it takes. Um... But hopefully you guys enjoy are going to enjoy this series. I know I'm going to enjoy playing these games and doing some college basketball again. When we get to tournament time, we'll start watching like the tournament, uh, the Selection Sunday show that they have in here. And we'll see where we can take Tim Duncan in his coaching career. So until next time, guys, stay blessed and take care. Hey guys, so if you've been a fan of my videos for a while, you know I like to put outtakes at the end of my episode. Uh, this time there was really only one outtake because unless you just want to watch me coughing my lungs out because I'm still recovering from COVID, those were pretty much the only outtakes I had during this video. But enjoy the one outtake I did have that wasn't coughing. We're going to make him go like a full, a through, go through a full coaching career.